Hey everybody, welcome back. This time I'm going to show you how to clone or transfer data from an HDD hard drive into a solid state drive or SSD. Uh, for this sample, I'm going to use a Sabron enclosure and a WD Blue solid state drive. Uh, okay, let's uh, first thing I'm going to remove the enclosure and it comes with a USB 3.0 cable and also with the booklet instructions. So you can check it out. And this unit has a switch to turn it on and off. If you don't know how to open it up, you can always go back into the booklet and follow the instructions. But it's pretty easy to go. All we have to do is just press them forward and then pull it. For the SSD drive, I use a blade so that way I don't break the box just in case I have to return something. But anyway, so this is the way it looks. A gel seal on the top that you have to remove, but be careful when you take it off because it might fall and you might break it. So this is the way I do it to be safe. And then this is where it looks. So let's proceed and place the solid state drive into the enclosure. So now I'm going to remove the gel sticker and then I'm going to put it in the enclosure. So we have to make sure the connections are the same direction as the enclosure. And the best way to put it in is actually to lay the enclosure on the table and just press it and slide them in. Let's place the cover on top and also slide them in. And now let's connect it to the computer using the USB cable. And it should look like this. So all we do now is turn on the computer. And while we're doing that, we have to turn up the enclosure. And a new window is going to pop up, which says that this user inserted was not readable by this computer. So we're going to click on initialize and we take you to the disk utility where you can see the actual hard drive of the computer, which is Macintosh HD, and also the new hard drive that you have attached, which is called Cyber Media. In this case, I'm going to rename it, but I'm going to erase it. So always click on erase. And on this window, we're going to rename the drive. We're going to call it new HD 2022. And just make sure it's macOS Extended Journal. And click Erase. So it's going to take a few minutes. It's really quick, to be honest. It only took me like probably three or four minutes. So we're going to click Done. And then we're going to close this window and we're going to restart the computer. And while restarting the computer, we're going to hold on Command R keys and let it go once you see this um, sign. And Mac OS Utility is going to show up. So we're going to click on Dix Utility and click Continue. And right here, you're going to find the hard drive of the computer, which is Macintosh HD, the new hard drive we just erased, which is new HD 2022, and a copy of the operating system, just in case we want to start from zero, meaning like I want to do a factory reset. But we don't want to do that. We're going to clone the hard drive. So we're going to choose a different option. So now let's click on the new hard drive and then we're going to click on restore. And right here we have the choice to use the hard drive that we want to clone or choose uh, the operating system so we can start up from zero. But we're going to clone this hard drive so we're going to choose Macintosh HD and then click restore. This process might take an hour to up to four or five hours depending on how much you have on your hard drive. It actually took me like four hours so we prepare for that. So once it's finished just click done. And in order to rename the hard drive, we're going to click on File, selecting the Macintosh HD or the new hard drive, and click on File and click on Rename. And right here, we're going to choose the name that we have before, which is New HD 2022. So close that window, and then we're going to hit on the top. We're going to restart the computer. We should be good to go. Now we can see the new hard drive on the top corner. And the hard drive is blinking, which means it's reading, so it's working. So I'm going to open the Finder and I'm going to put next to each other Macintosh HD and the new hard drive 2022. So you can see that both hard drives have the same folders. So I'm going to click on Applications. You can pause the video and verify that both of them have the same folders. So now let's click on Library and verify that both of them have the same folders. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this video and it was helpful to you. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, put a thumbs up, and I'll see you next video. Bye-bye.